The Game on Diet is not just a diet. And it's not even just a diet game. It's a whole body game. It's a whole life game. I'm in the habit of telling these stories from my life on television, but I get to, you know, put them in the mouth of Meredith Grey or Christina Yang. What's really unique about The Game on Diet is the fact that a health and fitness book is written by an Emmy-nominated writer. My partner, Az, invented this game to help me lose my pregnancy weight. I, I threw down the challenge. I lost uh, about 15 pounds. 15 pounds. I lost 18 pounds. Almost 25 pounds. About 30 pounds. I had 85 pounds to lose, <laughs> and I did it. You don't win the game for pounds lost. You win the game for points earned. And you earn points by, like, sleeping for a certain number of hours a night. And you get points for drinking a certain amount of water every day. And you get points for exercising a certain amount of time every day. And for changing something about your life that seems to be unrelated to weight. Uh, my favorite thing about Game On uh, would have to be just the sense of community and fun and play. The camaraderie and the, the banter, all the emails and the phone calls of just like telling everyone else they suck and that I rock and that my team's going to kick their butt. <laughs> More than actually winning, I enjoyed the, um, the psychological manipulation just up to winning. The great thing about the game to me is that if you're an insanely, ruthlessly competitive person like she is, then you get to play against people and be ruthlessly competitive. And if you're someone who's not as ruthlessly competitive, you get your ass kicked. Okay. That's true. Oops. Star would say, did you stick to the game? And, you know, yes I did. And then I run in and get on the elliptical machine rope like to do my exercises. Incorporating the habit really makes a massive difference. There's all these studies that say like dieters who've lost 50 pounds or more and kept it off, the main thing they all had in common was that they changed things in their life that seemed to have nothing to do with diet and exercise. When we set our goals, I set a 30 minute every day I was going to do something towards my business. I decluttered my entire house. I stopped texting while driving. Uh, I was able to quit smoking. You don't feel like you're all alone in it, and it's so much easier to keep going when you feel like there's other people supporting you, and also not supporting you, you know, and you're trying to beat them, so it makes it more interesting than most of the diet. It's just camaraderie and friends and whatnot, and it just makes you know, oh, look down and I'm in my old clothes, and... You don't gain it back, or at least I haven't, after I stopped playing. I lost all that weight, I kind of looked down, and <laughs> I was in Amanda's clothes. <laughs> but they fit, that's what really scared me. Um, it's about looking better. Yeah, it's about looking better. We all want to look better, but it's really, it's about feeling better. It's about having the power to change whatever you want to change. It's amazing. You actually look forward to getting up in the morning and with, with so much energy and, and just health. I just know that I can do anything now. I just know that I can do anything. Game on. Game on. Game on. Game, Game on. on.